Hello beautiful people, welcome to Susan and Family Cooking TV from Susan and Family TV. So how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. As for me and my daughter, we are doing super, 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 great. By His grace, amen. Of our power, amen. And we wish the same for you at the amen. So beautiful people, welcome to another yummy, yummy, yummy cooking video from Susan and Family Cooking TV. So if it's your first time of passing by our channel, I and my daughter will say we appreciate your taking your time to pass by our china and then god will guide protect and blesses my daughter and night day and night amen we continue to do the same for you and your family and your kids amen and to our viewers to everyone who has been like taking their time to always view our videos to view our china my god will guide protect and blesses my daughter and i with good health and long life for my daughter and night day and night amen we continue to do the same for you your kids and your family so once again amen beautiful people Welcome to Susan and Family Cooking TV from Susan and Family TV. So this is not our first channel. We have our first channel we started last year called Susan and Family TV. So this yummy meal we are about to prepare. We already made it already in our family channel, our other channel, Susan and Family TV. So in case you love to like, you want to also see it, try and click on it. So today, beautiful people, I'm going to be showing you how to prepare at home yummy 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 momo so as you can see all we need for us to prepare our yummy momo is already ready so that our cooking will just be going fian, 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 fast you know so that the food can be ready on time so beautiful people here we are here is our already washed beans i don't know if you can see it let me try to take the water away so i show it good to you so beautiful people, here is our already washed beans. So we are using beans to make more money. So when making more money, we need beans. So this is already peeled beans, but I washed it again. Even when it's peeled, you still need to like wash it. So I washed those peeled beans again like 10 times. So this is what came out of it, you know, after washing it 10 times. So if I didn't wash it, I said that it's already peeled. I just like start to blend it. So I'm going to blend this with it, which I don't really want this to be blended. You know, anytime making more money or akara. So that's why I washed it 10 times, like nine, 10 times. And then this came out. So we are going to put this aside. We are not blending it with it. We are throwing it away. <laughs> So I love to like explain everything for the case of maybe for the people that are seeing Momoi receive for the first time so that they can know that you don't need to blend that peeled beans. You don't need to blend it to already the washed beans when blending the beans. So now we have eggs. So we are going to put our eggs in making our Momoi. You can also use salad. You can eh? you can also use um, sardine. I mean, <laughs> not salad. You can also use sardine because my daughter and I, we ate salad yesterday. So salad is like stick coming on me. <laughs> so you can also use sardine or you can use fish. You can use a big crayfish fish or also in making momoi but today momoi we are going to be using some eggs so we also have our tomatoes we slice our tomatoes we have our sliced onions we have our sliced paprika and we have our ga and grounded garlic we have our grounded pepper we have our granite oil we are going to be making custard homemade vanilla pudding powder that is what we are going to use to enjoy our momoi so it's custard we are using so i'm going to show that after making the momoi i will make our home made sweet custard at home using vanilla pudding powder so we have also our salt and we have over here our maggie so beautiful people let's get started no wasting time so we are going to use sack of this zack in making our momoi this is what we are going to use to cook our momoi today so we bought it in a we brought shop is came with 125 pieces so we are going to be using also this aluminium paper that we need for inside the pot so that our momoi doesn't get burnt because we are going to place it in the plastic you know so let's get started beautiful people no wasting time so beautiful people we are going to go ahead and put some amount of beans in the blender so we can blend <laughs> we don't need to waste time I think I'm going to blend it like three times. So that's it. Three times. So we are going to add some tomatoes in it. See, we, so we are blending it three times. So we add some onions and we add some paprika. So we are going to use three cubes of maggi for our two packets. So this is two packets of, um, of peeled beans, beautiful people, in case you want to buy it in Africa shop or Pakistan shop. Even now, like uh, Abatine supermarket is selling also now beans. Let me show the beans to you. 
So beautiful people, Abatine said this. You can see it's written in Netherlands. It say Zwarte Ho Bolin. So it's it means a black and uh, highs beans you can see black highs beans so this is the beans we use but we bought it um from the one already paid from the africa shop so in case you just want to like buy this one just like this sometimes i also do it i will buy it like this i soak it so for me ah, i forgot to say i soak these beans i soak it since yesterday night to the uh, today morning so that it can get soft so you can see now it's super soft but if you don't soak it for hours beautiful people when you want to to blend it is going to be very difficult it's going to be very strong just like this but before using it for like momoing for like akara you can soak it for some hours so i always soak it in the night i soak it yesterday night to this early morning before we start to make our momo so here is this beans you can get it now in our time supermarket not only in the africa shop so let's continue so beautiful people since we are blending it the beans three times so we are going to add each of the blending of the beans one cube of maggie in so now we are just going to pour in direct enough water to blend our beans okay that's it so we are going to go ahead and blend our beans without wasting time dear people the time is so fast beautiful people time does not wait for anyone that is why anytime i'm doing things i always like to like hurry up and make doing my things <laughs> Okay, now check if the blending is already smooth because we need our blended beans to be very 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 smooth you know before using it for mom way yeah it's smooth i've just do it like a second more it's already smooth but just a second more <laughs> That's it. So this first one is ready. I said let me just have patience to show it to you guys before I go ahead and do the second one. So after blending it, so you can see this is how it needs to be smooth. So you can see it's very smooth just like when you make juice and so that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend the other remaining things. So you can take a bowl and just pour it in. So we need a bowl. <laughs> when making one more, we need a bowl to pour the already blended beans in. So let's go ahead and blend the other remaining beans. So see you guys later. So beautiful people, as you can see, all the beans is blended. Can you guys see it? Ooh. Let me see. Uh -huh. So the beans is blended. So the next thing we need to do I'm going to add grounded garlic. You see, I didn't blend it because it's grounded garlic to our blended beans. Garlic is healthy, guys. So I'm going to add grounded pepper. That's why I didn't blend it because it's blended already. Okay. And I'm going to try to mix it together. The garlic and the pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add granite oil. We need granite oil in making momoi. Put 
assistance. Okay, I will not be adding salt, no need for the salt at all because we don't eat salt a lot. The maggi I blended with the with the beans is just enough, so I don't want to add gram, I don't want to add salt to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that all the ingredients is mixed together. That's all. So here is it. So without wasting time, the next thing I'm just going to be taking my Zach. The Zach for putting food on the fridge. You can see it. You open it this way. It is opened and I'm going to use this. I'll put one spoon like this. A spoon and two. I'm using two spoons and I'm going to add my egg just inside. That's it. And I'm going to close it. I'm tying it this way. Why tying it? You just give like a little space to it. Just a little. Because you know it's beans, beans can increase when cooking it. So that is why it can be just a little space. And I'm putting it in the second zag because why? In the second sachet so that you know it doesn't get um, burst. But it's not going to burst because of the aluminum paper we are putting in the pot. But just to prevent it, that is why I always love to use two sacks. So here is it. So that is how I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Thing all. So I'm making it to two spoons, just the way I did the other one. You can see it like this. Open the, the sack enough inside and the second one. Go ahead and put our egg and we tie it. Give a little space when tying it, just a little space in case the mom may want to increase, just like this, and put it in the second zack. Give a little space also, just like this. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. So this two is ready. So see you guys later when all is already done. <laughs> So beautiful people, as you can see, <laughs> oh, the momway is already ready in the sack and ready to be put in the pot for cooking. So I added all the extra eggs. So it was remaining extra eggs. So I opened the, the momway sack. I just opened them again and I placed all the extra eggs all in, you know. So now what we're going to do, here is the big pot we're going to use. So we are just going to put our, oh, this is... Oh, this is uh this is not let's bring up let me bring the aluminium paper so this is the aluminium paper we are going to use we are just going to place it inside the pot so when we place the aluminium paper inside the pot so the the momo is not going to get burnt so that is why i'm placing aluminium paper inside the pot so let me go ahead and do that beautiful so i place in one side so also in the other side so completely <laughs> All over the pot inside needs to be complete with the aluminum paper. So beautiful people, here we are. You can see this is how it has to be before placing. So now we are going to go ahead and place our momo in the pot. Let's see so that the pot will be enough to cook all the momo. Mm -hmm. That's it. So beautiful people, this it is when you place it in the pot. So now we are going to pour enough water for us to cook our momoy and put on the gas. No wasting time. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So we have enough water that will be enough to cook our momoy. So I'm just going to come and be checking the momoy. Normally, you know beans need to be very cooked so that it doesn't touch. When you prepare beans, momoy, and it does not like, it's not like cooked good the way it's supposed to be. It can purge you. You can be going to, 
toilet you know frequently so that is why it's good so like when cooking beans, cooking beans or momo is good to allow it to get cooked so i'm going to allow it for like 45 minutes so when i check it 45 minutes it's not cooked enough the way i want the maximum one hour is is okay to cook a moment so in 25 minutes time i'm going to come to check it so i'm going to go ahead and clean our apartment so i clean the parlor already the floor with the um, with the swiffer dry swiffer so i need to clean our bedroom clean my daughter's room clean my room and clean the floor so my daughter is also busy with her studies she have a lot of homework like 21 subjects she have like 20 pages you know so she needs to submit it <laughs> next week so i told her to like start you know start it later she said no 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 mama she want to start it this early hour today so she's busy also with her homework she have a lot of homework and different subjects also so we are going to allow the uh, momo to get cooked in 25 minutes before people we are coming to check on our momo so let me go ahead and clean our apartment so see you guys in 25 minutes time hope you are loving this video and hope you are learning something from this video so see you guys later I'm going to cover the pot. We don't need to alight like this. We need to cover it. I'll put the cover of the pot now. So see you guys later. So beautiful people, we are able to check on our momo. So it's already 25 minutes as I promised. So let's go ahead and check. Ooh, so here is it, beautiful people. You can see it's already coming like thick. You can see all this place. This all around is already thick. So this place is not yet thick. So this side is thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it. So this part that is already thick, I'm going to put this part inside the hot water side. Uh -huh. So I can see that also the hot water is like getting dried. So I need to add more, uh, more water to it. So without the water, the moment cannot get cooked so that is it so now what we are going to do i'm just going to go ahead the side that is already strong this side is strong this side is not strong i will turn it to the other side so that is what i'm going to go ahead to do this side is strong and this side is not strong so you put the side that is not strong already inside the hot water it's very hot guys <laughs> so here is uh -huh, here is little strong here is not strong so we put it like that so that the both side can get cooked because these are up the momoi up but the momoi down is going to cook just like normal the both side because the momoi is down so this momoi that are up we need to like change it you know so that is it so see you guys in another 25 minutes time so it's already 25 minutes making another 25 minutes will be like 50 minutes so see you guys now that 25 minutes time so beautiful for you we are as you can see it's already 50 minutes so here we are our momo is already ready just look at you can see the difference the both side is already cooked so i just need to off the gas now and i'm going to bring the momo out so that you can see you can see it the both side is ready for eating it's very hot guys here is it this is how to make more moin so let me bring it out now see you guys in a second so here is it guys i'm just putting it one after the other so that it can get cold so i'm so happy that you know the time the momo is ready and i've already cleaned our apartment already so it's just for us to make now the custard so i'm going to bring all out now so beautiful people let me show you our momo so here is it so this is our momo is prepared let's see mm. it's very hot now it needs to be cold so this is how momo is you know so i said let me show it to you guys it's good for you to see so i'm also going to do a seconds video because i'm going to make the custard and i'm going to do a seconds video of this momo and the custard so now the water for the custard is already boiling so see you guys in a seconds so beautiful people let me show you what we are going to use for making our homemade custard so we are using vanilla the powder we bought it in um, in carrefour you can also get it in abatine you know so here is it we always buy it in abatine but now i see that carrefour also have it so we bought this in carrefour so we have our sugar we have grounded sugar you can also use cube sugar so we have our milk 
we have our full volume mix so we have our water always i want the water to be hot so it's already hot so all i just need to do i'm going to pour this water here in another pot i'm pouring this water in another pot so i'm going to use cold water to make sure that this pot is not hot so i remove some of the momoi from the side so that you can see what i'm about to do so this is just a plain pot so what i'm going to do i'm going to pour in our vanilla our vanilla have seeds pack inside so i'm not using the seeds it came with seeds you can see it so i'm going to take only three from it my daughter love oh it's four <laughs> maybe we need to make four because my daughter love a lot of foodie costa she love it a lot so i think it's better since four is out let me just make the four <laughs> she loves the custard i'm about to make no more than this more money <laughs> so let me make for let me go ahead and put four pack so i'm putting four of this pack you can see i had it i put one already so i'm going to add three more let me go ahead and do that so between people here we have four pack of the pudding is in one two three and four so what we are going to do before people we are going to add now our sugar because it's four pack so each pack of uh, of the pudding i always do i had one tablespoon one because it's four so we need four two three and four so our pudding needs to be sweet. When custard is not sweet, our children don't love it when custard is not sweet. You see the one we buy in the supermarket, and we buy custard already made in the supermarket for our kids. It's very sweet. So that is how our kids want us to also make homemade custard to be very sweet, enough sugar, you know. So now we are going to add now our volume mix. I'm using volume mix, but you can also use half volume mix. So it depends. <laughs> depends the one you love to use and you can also make custard without milk also but i don't love to make it without milk because of my daughter so i love that she have the taste of the milk inside not just like making the custard only with, with water so i'm going to like go ahead and mix the pudding and the milk to make sure that all the pudding is absorbed there is no seed so that when we make the custard there will not be seed inside the custard so let me go ahead and do that so beautiful people the next thing we need to do is to put on the gas because we missed the custard already is to put on the gas so now what we are going to do the gas is on now we are going to pour in our hot water the bread hot water depends on how you want your custard to be tea okay i think i always had like little to control it when i see that when i'm making it then i'm just going to continue to stir the custard just this way you can see with the spoon so sometimes sometimes not all the time i do it also in the microwave making foody custard but not all the time i always prefer to like make custard you know on the gas just the way i'm making it now so i feel like when i make it here <laughs> it's more like you know soft the way i want it to be without having seed so i'm just going to turn continuously this custard so i'm so happy that the cooking is already almost true and i've cleaned our apartment already so the rain started today you know it's coming it's already almost winter it's always cold and raining in Belgium so I decided oh yesterday I need to soak these beans you know so that we can prepare yummy momoi to eat with this hot sweet custard this hot sweet pudding so you can really enjoy this food on a cold rainy day just prepare the momoi just the way I did and make a very hot pudding you know for our kids for us to warm up the body to work against fever and malaria you know when it's cold time winter time when we always eat our kids always eat hot food it warms up the body brings out the heat in us so when the heat is always coming out of our children body heat is always coming out of our body it's very difficult for our kids to fall sick it's very difficult for we the parents to fall sick because heat is already like coming out of 
all the time from our body so that is why during winter like this coming winter cold time any time i always love to prepare food that will bring out the heat in my daughter and i so that my daughter and i we can't get sick you know so it's already coming like too thick so i need to lower the gas if i don't lower it it's going to have seed which i don't want the custard to have seed when you have seed there's no way my daughter and I we can eat it is to make another one. So now I can see that the custard is too thick. So now I need to add water. So this is how I control it. I first start with little water. When I see that it's too thick, then I just add more of the hot water. But I'm no more adding milk. The milk I used to miss it. That is what I always use. I always just like add more of the water so grateful people now i'm going to go ahead and continue with the making of the custard once the custard is ready i'm going to show it to you guys so i still need to add a little more water so see you guys later so beautiful people here we are as you can see our custard is ready you can see it too it's ready for eating so here is it so this is how to make yummy momoi to enjoy with custard and this is how to make homemade sweet custard and it's ready for eating so all i need to do is just to put on the gas so that is it so hope you learned something from this video please don't forget to subscribe to susan and family tv our custard is ready for eating subscription is free and please when you subscribe don't forget to press the notification bell so that anytime we upload videos you will be the first to be noticed and please do share this video so that every other family out there this food is for everyone not only for africa homes also for white you know so because this is beans both we africans well and white people eat beans you know just for them that everybody cook beans in different ways maybe they will not know that they can make it into more money so when you share this video you know they might also like oh let's try the white people might okay let's try it Maybe our kids will love it. And I believe that every home that tried this delicacy, this yummy meal, momoy and custard, the kids will want to eat it again because my daughter loves a lot of custard pudding. You can see the pudding is ready for eating. So I'm going to do a second of it and we are going to enjoy it with our momoy. So come and join my daughter and I. So thanks for watching. See you in our next video by His Grace. My God who guides, protect and blesses my daughter and I with good health and long life for my daughter and I day and night. Amen. We continue to do the same for you and your kids. And please subscribe. Subscription is free. So see you in our next video by His Grace from Susan and Family TV. From Susan and Family Love TV, from Susan and Family Cooking TV, from my daughter and I, we say we love you. Remember, bless. See you in our next video. By His Grace, for my daughter and I, God, guys, and protect my daughter and I'm going to do the same for you and your kids.